Good morning, everyone. It's Bernadette Wagner with Prime Time for Women's Mindful Monday, our weekly segment where we uh, get to highlight women who make an incredible difference, either through their art or through their work in the community or through their healthful and mindful practices that they share with one another. So um, I'm really grateful today to have Kate Ryan on our uh, Mindful Monday segment. Uh, Kate is, um, uh, she's actually my husband's cousin, and I'm super excited to have her on the program today because Kate has a great story. Um, not only did she um, suffer uh, uh, or experience a severe car accident 36 years ago that left her uh, as an incomplete uh, quadriplegic, she has not allowed that to stop her from living her life to the fullest, which makes her, you know, in my mind, a uh, poster child for prime time for women. Women who say, you can't get to dictate how I live my life. They don't get to tell me what I can and cannot do. I'm making up my own mind and I'm doing it. And that's exactly Kate. So Kate, thanks so much for being here today. I'm so glad to be here, Daddy. I am. That's and <laughs> prime, I've never been called a poster child before. <laughs> Our poster child of prime time for women. So right. One of the things that I really love about your story is that for many people experiencing that kind of um, tragedy, that kind of loss with the power of your own body, it could have um, undone them. And because it didn't undo you, not only did it not undo you, I think it called forth some of your strongest uh, qualities, right? Is that true? Yeah, I, I knew several women when I was in the hospital that uh, they never got out of the hospital. I mean, in their minds, they never got out of the hospital and they never went back to what they were doing um, or they didn't take care of themselves correctly and ended up passing away. So it's just, you just got to keep going every single day and every day brings new challenges for everybody. But, you know, we just take it as we come. That's great. And so, Kate, uh, you were, uh, how old were you when you had this? 26. 26. And so, at 26, you find yourself a quadriplegic, but you go on to get married, have a child, raise the child. Um, uh, you had a 30-plus year teaching career. Uh, you were Miss Wheelchair Maryland. Um, you've traveled all over the place. Uh, you know, I, I know that we're going to have you on Prime Time for Women on the TV show, but I was wondering before we, um, I have some other questions, but before we get to that, if you could just tell us a little bit about the stories you tell yourself or the message you give yourself that enables you to keep going. Well, I always like to say where God closes a door somewhere, he opens a window. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you have to be strong enough and courageous enough to go through that window. There's many windows that can open in your life. And if you don't take the opportunity to go through those windows, you'll just stay in the same place. So right. you just have to keep on going. Yeah. And so um, one of the things that that uh, calls to mind for me is this idea that um, we have choices in life. We have options. And we also all have struggles. You're not saying that uh, you didn't have any struggles as a result of this. You're saying despite the struggles, you moved on. Exactly. Yeah, I definitely had a lot of struggles. I was married to my first husband when we had the accident, and then he subsequently left me. And I, so I was finding myself by myself in the world. Um, I, I did get a lot of counseling. And I, I always recommend to people, if you can't get it, find it within your family or your friends, you know, ask for help. It, it takes the strongest of us in the world to ask for help because change is probably the most difficult thing you'll do in your life. Yeah, change isn't for sissies, right? No, not at all. Definitely. That's great. That's great. Well, that's good advice. And um, I think it, if we want to move forward, we should, uh, I think, embrace the idea that it's the strong people who seek the help to fulfill their dreams. And that's sort of what I think you did. So I, you know, I'm just so glad you're here today. But um, I know we're gonna talk a little bit more in depth when you're on the show, but today I really wanted to highlight uh, your, some of your businesses that you're coming up with. So, um, you know, Prime Time for Women, uh, our mission is to celebrate, connect, and empower women from diverse backgrounds 
while they explore new possibilities in the second half of life. And so we frequently highlight female entrepreneurs. And um, I know that you have a 30 plus teaching career, but all through that, you had some side hustles. And now you're still doing that. And you're also going to start your own business. Yay! Yay! Uh, yeah, that, that was very exciting. So um, can you uh, tell us first a little, well, I'll just say you're incredibly artistic. You paint, you create jewelry, you draw. I think you've illustrated some books. Is that right? Um, I, I draw portraits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, um, so anyhow, I, it's just, uh, for somebody who doesn't have that artistic bent, I'm just, I'm just kind of in awe, but uh, you have at least, uh, one art business. I was wondering if you could talk about that. It, one what? I'm sorry. Art. Uh, don't you have, don't you create uh, jewelry? And oh yeah. Yeah. I have. Well, um, so I have, um, a website on Etsy. It's called okay. Creates by Kate, with a K. I and I can show that little uh, yeah your business card so people know what we're talking about here. Is that showing up? Mm, no. Okay, because uh, let's see. Okay, Creates by Kate. Yeah, oh, there it is. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that's on that's on Etsy, okay. and. Um, you can see the, the four items that are on there are what I have on there right now. I have one of my wind chimes behind me. I have one of my necklaces on. Okay. Um, I'll hold it up. My, my, latest, my latest endeavor, which is, you can see this, it's a uh, round loom knitting. Uh, it's an Afghan for my niece who's going to be attending uh, the University of Maryland. And one of my photographs is up here behind me. So I uh, just a, the, those are the four items at the moment. Who knows what where my life, my artistic bent might take me next. But okay. and also the picture on your create by Kate is one of your photographs, right? Yes, yes, yeah. is what, it's what it's what so probably my favorite photograph of Sugarloaf Mountain. Just so beautiful. Yeah, and um, I'm uh, when you're uh, creating this Afghan for your niece, uh, she's gone to University of Maryland, and uh, it's a thing for you where you create. Um, Afghans for you're from a big family for every kid that goes to college in their college colors. I've tried to, I've tried to, I started this after some of my nieces and nephews went, have already gone to college, but they, they're getting baby gifts now. Okay. So I tried to find out what college they're going to be going to and then were created in the college colors. So they, they have a college. So you can see University of Maryland, definitely, you know, Maryland colors. Um, and I have a nephew who's going to Clemson, so he's going to get an orange and purple tiger paw at some point down the road, hopefully before he leaves, but we'll see. That's great. And uh, th that's something that you can do, for, people could order that from you to, over. Yes. Asia, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I also make uh, a little, on, the, on my website right now, I have little um, butterfly hair clips. I make little crocheted butterfly hair clips for little girls. That's what I have on there at the moment. Um, I don't have any Afghans or anything on that at the moment. Um, I'm still working on building it up. I have things, I just haven't gotten them on the website yet. That's great. <clears throat> so if you're interested in any of these uh, in, um, different photography, jewelry, crocheted items, or wind chimes, uh, that could, they could just reach you through Etsy and they could also yes. see your stuff there. And Kate, what do you make your wind chimes out of? So that I, I'm making them out of, this is driftwood, um, mm -hmm. and these are agate pieces. You can't see these pieces here, but they are uh, resin, clear resin with seashells in them. So they're kind of a nautical bent. The one behind me, I'd have to move, let me see if I can move, you can see it a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but it has regular um, like tubular bell wind chimes and other resin pieces and driftwood. So they're kind of nautical, beachy. Natural kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, Kate, um, that, that's great. And um, one of the things I'm super excited about is your latest business adventure coming up. Um, maybe you can talk a little bit about Tudor on Wheels and explain how that came about. So I've converted a van, a small van into a mobile classroom that I can go to people's houses and uh, 
the child can come out to the van and we can have a tutoring session. Um, I had been working for a group that goes into people's houses, which is so much easier for parents to have than having to bring them places. Uh, but I can't get into the house. So I had to then tutor at the library, which didn't, you know, negates the whole idea of going to someone's house. So I thought, well, you know, I can do this, but I'll just convert a van. So I have a van, it's, it's called Tutor on Wheels, many wheels. <laughs> and so I can go to people's houses and they can come and, and get a tutoring session. I, I think that's cute because not, yeah, not only are you in a wheeled van, you're in a wheelchair. And so it's just, it's, it's a great idea. I love Tutor it. on many wheels. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. great. Um, and uh, do you uh, specialize in, uh, when you're teaching one-on-one, uh, -on -one, which I can imagine is going to be huge during COVID-19 as parents look for resources to address uh, those kinds of um, supports for kids who can't get to the classroom? Um, so I've, I've got to, you know, masked all the time, um, disinfectant spray, which I can spray before and after I have disinfectant wipes. I have a cover for the back seat where the child will be sitting so that I can wash it in between. Um, everything is, the desks that I have are, are plastic so that they can be wiped down very easily, wow. wiped down all the pencils, all the, all the supplies, everything. So I'm very aware of COVID-19. Um, and being a quadriplegic, I do have an, an impacted lung system. So I have to watch out for myself um, as well as my student. Yeah, and I, I was just thinking what a resource that's gonna be for parents who uh, are trying to work and also trying to get their kids to school and if their kids have sorry a little bit louder I can't hear you yeah I said I what a resource that is going to be for parents who are trying to work from home drawing uh, school uh, just all being virtual and how some kids just really need that person-to-person -person contact a lot of kids actually so I think this is just a, a, a great idea um, Kate um, has this started yet? When will Tutor and Wheels start? I have one student so far, and um, I just wanted to also mention that I am a certified special education teacher, and I do, uh, I'm fluent in sign language, so I can do a wide variety of students. I'm certified both elementary and special ed. And, and so do you work with kids from K through five, or? I can, um, I can work through, high school but don't let don't, not in math <laughs> um, but take me up about sixth grade for that um i i've worked all grade levels so um depending upon what the child needs um i would be happy to try and help help anybody and i know that you worked in an after school program uh teaching kids art uh different forms of art can you talk a little bit about that it's a program run by the rec departments called Excel Beyond the Bell, where they bring in uh, community um, business people, entrepreneurs, to teach kids different skills. They might have cooking lessons or soccer or basketball or what I'm teaching uh, at the moment. I'm teaching two different classes, one in jewelry making and one in crocheting. Um, I've also taught a sign language class for them, too. So. Uh, it's it's a really neat program. It runs for two hours and it's free for the kids. So that's great for the parents. It's great for the kids, great for the entrepreneur. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful program that Montgomery County Rec runs. That's great. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to bring that up is because I had asked you if there was a strong interest among uh, women, people who follow Prime Time for Women, if you would be willing to teach either a virtual jewelry making class or a virtual crocheting class. Is that something that you'd be open to? Oh, I would love to. If, if somebody is interested, um, I, I could give a list of supplies beforehand so that people could be ready to do this or um, I guess it, they can go back to it on YouTube and, and give it, um, it but I would love to do that. Yeah, is Excel after the bell, is that the name of it? Excel Beyond the Bell. Excel Beyond the Bell. Uh, did you work on a particular project for a couple of weeks? Or, uh, what I do with the kids is I teach them the skills that's necessary and then let them go. And uh, the kids are great because 
they get into it and then they go on YouTube and they're like, I found this and I want to make this. And I'm like, go for it, you know? And so I teach them the skills that they need, um, how to crochet, how to put a piece of jewelry together, how to design a piece of jewelry. And then they go off and they create. I, I have one child, my, my star people who went off and learned how to make little panda bears. And I'm like, I can't do that. How did you do that? Oh, I went on YouTube. I'm like, okay, fine. So I, I like to let their creativity then take over. Yeah, that's great. Uh, one of the things I was thinking of is um, this idea, if people wanted to participate in your class, if each person could uh, crochet a granny square, which is not much by itself, a large granny square. But when you put them all together, you have this incredible blanket that you can wrap in warmth. And my thought would be that it's sort of like people by ourselves, we're, we're isolated, we're alone. But when we come together through prime time for women, we create community. So uh, I'm just putting this out there because it that's might a great be idea. That we can um, do. Um, with uh, Prime Time for Women. And so I will post um, that in just a few minutes after we post this video. That would okay. be great. Thanks so much. And um, I'm going to end this recording. And um, there's somebody here who wants to say hi to you. Hey, hi, Matt. How, are, How you are you?